Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate our expression 5 times the square root of 36. So to do this, we can basically kind of forget about the 5 right now. And let's just figure out how to evaluate the square root of 36. And there's a couple different ways um, I like to do this. And you know, hopefully you guys understand, you know, we're looking at the square root of 36. The easiest way to do this is to understand what number multiplied by itself gives us 36, which that answer is going to be 6. However, sometimes we get a little stuck with this. So if you get stuck or you don't understand, we can always go back to our prime factorization. So what we do is we'd multiply, see how we can break this down 36 into a list of its prime factors, which would be 3 times 2. And then here we'd have 2 times 3. So it's OK. I'll be ready in a second. Um, so then in this case, um, basically what we'll be able to do here is Da, da, da. What am I thinking of? Oh, OK. So let's go and look about how we can rewrite this. So if I can rewrite square root of 36 as a product of its primes. So the square root of 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. All right. Now, when we're looking into the square root, there's a couple things I want you guys to understand. The square root of 36 is equal to the square root of 6 squared, which is equal to the square root of 6 times 6. Now, each one of these answers, you can see that, remember, when we're asking the square root, the square root says what number multiplied by itself. So you can see what number multiplied by itself. Yeah, well, the only number multiplied by itself that gives, you th that gives you 36 is 6. So the square root of 6 times 6 is 6. 6 times 6 is the same thing as 6 squared. So the square root of 6 squared is 6. 6 squared is the same thing as 36. So that's 6. So when we're looking into taking the square root, what we're basically doing is pulling out pairs of numbers. So here you can say the square root of 3 times 3 then is just 3. The square root of 2 times 2 is just 2. So therefore, I have 3 times 2, which is 6. So now I have 5 times 6, which is 30. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate your expression for taking the square root. Thanks.